Due to the taxes, Genoa would be a good capital for me in the short term until I can get the rest of Venice after, you know, a war. Speaking of, he's already besieging this after he's run back. Let's go fight him. If I move the capital here, is there anything too crazy? Well, I can't change it while at war. That's kind of the main thing. But I might move my capital there because it would be way more valuable than Turin. Even in its lack of control state, just due to the walls of Genoa being here. All right, and I have won the war after winning another battle pretty easily. So I can get the Grand City of Veneto, the city of Shiogia. It's not everything that I wanted. Some fame, a little bit of prestige. It's something. Disband all raised armies. Oh, I am a king now. And there you go. Good job, King Alfred. You got that real quick. Now I'm waiting on that claim. So what happens? Like, I can just move my realm capital here. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty simple to do. So if I just move it there, yeah. there you go. It's moved. This is now making me more money. Um, and it's the, everything will get, you know, figured out. High German? No. No, no, no. Roman is superior. Speaking of Roman being superior, we're also going to promote culture in Genoa. Might as well change that while it's my temporary capital. I just changed my capital to this location that I took from that guy that died, so that's fun. Because it's worth more than anything that I had, because it has a special thing called the Walls of Genoa. I also have a lot of money all of a sudden, so that's cool. So I have a truce for five years with Venice, and then I can go after them again. That sounds good. I'm 29, so yeah, that definitely sounds good. I have a goose feather. I also inherited this from him. Yeah, sure, let's put on that goose feather. Stress gain reduction, prestige increase to gaining. That seems pretty good to me. I can plan a pilgrimage. The Vatican's real close by, so it wouldn't cost a lot to get to, and it wouldn't be very dangerous to get to. If anything, just like a mountaineer would be more than enough, but realistically, I could probably avoid that mountain by just going around. Well, it's kind of in the way. We'll, we'll figure it out. Visiting as many things as possible is, I'm realizing, usually a good thing. I visited there, so I, I can't really do that again. There's Rome itself, so on the way out, yeah, visit Rome, because there is a nice little bonus to experience if we go there. There's nowhere else really in the area to visit, though. So aside from that, no, yeah, that's it. So a single mountaineer, that would be pretty good. My caravan master again, and I can set out on a pilgrimage if I want to. Can't really change these options. Oh, I can a little bit. More piety, 10 random pilgrims. Oh boy. This would basically double the cost, so that's not happening. 168, gain level of fame, glory is widely known, we're illustrious. That's awesome. I'm gonna start a pilgrimage though. Reflection, altruism, zealotry. Share your conviction and beliefs. Altruism, improve the lives of others. Increase in popular opinion and piety and reflection. Relieve stress. We don't need to relieve stress. So, this one. Popular opinion and piety. I don't know what the conviction is, so definitely altruism. So I'm going to do that. And we got a claim on Venezia, so that's going to cost me some money as well. Okay, let's just do a normal pilgrimage down to the Vatican. I'm going on my first pilgrimage, guys. I'm going to the Vatican. Nice. Yeah. And I'm going to visit Rome while I'm down there. Check it out. Take some pictures. Do some duck face by the Colosseum. <laughs> That's right. Pilgrimage becomes more pious. What the hell? But I 21% chance to gain ill. But that's a lot of piety. But that's a lot of ill. So, ooh. Ooh, yeah, no. I'll just give up 25 piety. We'll get more at the ending. I don't want to get ill. The life of my character here is far more important than anything else. Whoa. All roads lead to Rome. Flock to Rome from the Christian world. I take it I've arrived? Caesar Romanus. Oh, I guess my kid came with me. Okay. Well, I walk the holy path, lose some stress, gain pilgrim. We all get this trait. Gives us more monthly piety, travel speed, safety, zealotry. Okay, cool. Walk the holy path. Anything else? Nothing that I see. So the piousness is going. We are trying to improve the lives of others. For the charity for the poor... Of Vaticino lost money, gained a fuck ton of piety. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. 
Yeah, 100 piety spent 20 money. That's a really good deal. Zealot vassals are very happy about this. Lead, communal prayer, gained piety. Nice, awesome. This is going great. In 100 diplomacy lifestyle uh, experience. And someone wants to potentially trick me. Yeah, no, I'll pass. That doesn't look good. Doesn't look very good at all. This is costing me a lot of money, this pilgrimage, but it's getting me a fuck ton of piety, which is perfect because I need piety to invade the Pope. Yeah. I need this piety so I can fuck up the head of my religion and take Rome from him. Jesus Christ. I'm getting so much piety, it's insane. What the fuck? Holy shit. Pilgrimage becomes more pious, gain 50, or pay 5, get the pilgrim's guide, diplomacy, and some piety a month, travel safety. Hmm. That's neat. I think I'll just take the extra piety. More piety means more invading the Pope. I could pay 45 money for this old guy that has high stats to join my court. Um, no. The Pope wouldn't like it anyway. So I'm just going to say no. Because I don't want that guy to begin with. Oh my god. Pop up, pop up, pop up, pop up, pop up, pop up. What is this? Roma in the distance. Okay. Will not waste any time in this place. Only as much time as necessary. Lose stress because I am a traveler. Gain stress potentially from literally everything else. Some of these can give a lot of stress, in fact. And these are not too great. We're not going to waste time here. I already got the bonuses for coming here. So much piety as well. I am now a determined pilgrim. Nice. Following the armed pilgrimage's tenant. Monthly piety per night. That's nice. Sweet. Five trait experience in the pilgrim trait. It has been an honor. Thank you, Rome. Now we're heading back with a fuck ton of piety. What the fuck? There's pizza? Dude. What? Rome has pizza. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if pizza would exist, but I, yeah, I can have pizza potentially. I probably won't, but because it could make me ill, apparently. So yeah, no. Um, but yeah, apparently. <laughs> yeah, my one of my guides was like, hey, uh, Imperator. You may not want this pizza. It's bad pizza. And one option was, I am the Imperator, and I want my pizza. Sounds like you. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> it really does. Oh shit, I found some heretical tomb on the road. That's nice. I'm going to desecrate it, probably. Well, actually, cultural acceptance between Romans and Italians. That's pretty smart. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'll let this one live. You're lucky. Oh my god, every time I unpause, I get a fucking pop-up. What is interesting is apparently I could just take Rome first. I was never able to do that before, so that's quite interesting. I could just declare war for Rome pretty much immediately. So that would be fucking hot. I feel like fighting the Pope is gonna be, like, extra fun. I just have a feeling. I can unlock something... Imperatrix. Oh, a female Imperator is an Imperatrix. That's a fun name. Cost is belly cost reduction. Oh, that's really good. Control up natural dread. Ooh, these are really good. Um, the cost is belly reduction would be neat, except for the fact that I guess I've already paid for all the ones that I want. So control growth would be extra good, given that I'm going to be taking over a lot of things. So yeah, that seems good to me. And my power is 3,000 blah blah. The Pope can get mercenaries galore if he so chooses. I have not an insane amount of money, but I have some pretty decent knights sitting around, I suppose. They can get another one, but that's, I think, too much money. I could try to get some onagers. That might be smart to get before I declare war. Let's get some onagers built up. At least at, like, size 1. Maybe I'll go a bit further. That is a lot of money, though. I have enough piety to attack him, like, twice already, so that's hot. Okay, they have a fort level 9 here, so I actually definitely want more. Because this is effective up to fort level 5. So if we increase size to 2... Um, I don't know. That didn't change at all. We'll see what happens as we get more of them in, up to 20. I just spent more money on that. We'll need to get money before we actually do the war. We are currently 31. We started at 16. Game's been going 15 years now. And we're near the point, I think, of being able to go ahead and invade the Papacy. And then shortly after that, Venice. But I don't know where my capital will be then. The, like Rome or Venice? Venice is worth more, but Rome is Rome.
and it's super well developed. I guess just the type of siege weapon this is makes it not effective beyond fort level five. So I don't know really how effective it's going to be to keep investing into this, but because everything else is just like at three already anyway, I'm just going to keep investing and get max onagers before I do this war. And I can go ahead and hold court now. Here are the petitioners with my prestige. The first listener, let's see, my vassal approaches me, hesitating, brilliant idea, host affair. I mean, sounds decent, but the French don't matter. I don't have that much money. I don't have any money, actually. And I don't care about the French, so sorry, no, that's not happening. And my chancellor pulls me aside, so many attending your court, challenged and remembering faces. I never forget a face, I shall be fine. I have a 100% chance, because I'm very diplomatic. Striking garb. Um, yeah, no, just... Or I could get an artifact. No, um, I'd never forget a face, so I get some diplomacy XP, that would be really good. Knight bows before me. I know this guy, this is my second best knight, but he's kind of old. Oh, this knight, he wants a county. I could take his sword from him <laughs> in order to give it to him. I could give him one of my counties, specifically Modena. Or I could just say, fuck you, and he leaves. Hmm. That is unfortunate if that happens. Modena is not something I guess I'm really going to keep in the long run anyway. It's not that important to me. He's Gaelic and obese. Oh, God, this guy. Um, Modena. I could give you Modena. Yeah, again, it's not important to me. I'd rather keep you rather than lose you. But I'm going to take your sword. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take your sword. You are an acclaimed knight as well, so get some grandeur. He's now a count. He's a fat count. There you go. And I have taken his sword. I have a sword now. Give me some more prowess. And I've been invited to go on a hunt. I can just join the hunt. This is one of my counts. I mean, sure. Well, it costs 16 money. I don't currently have 16 money. And so that's fun. If I get rid of the Mountaineer, it's 8 money. And I do have 8 money. So, yeah, let's go. Let's go to the hunt. Hope it goes well. Indeed. Yes. It's pretty close by, so I figured why not. Where's Modena, by the way? It's over here. This was Modena. This is what I gave to the fat guy. So that's cool for him, I suppose. Alright, the hunt is beginning. Apparently that got rid of my um, accolade, so I went and I hit restore accolade, but I have no idea what that did. I guess that was looking for a knight to fill it or something. I don't know. I can also create an accolade. I, I have no idea what I just pressed, but I spent prestige. I know that. Okay, worthy whoever may be appointed as the death of Muslims. Maximin Valentinian. Oh my god. Oh, is this a new guy? I spent prestige to get this guy? Oh, holy shit, this guy is great. I have way too many pop-ups. Cynical. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna let you keep those. I don't know if that's a great idea, but I don't want to take the stress to get rid of it. Archer. Max size of archer regiments. Oh, that's interesting. I'm not sure how much I care about that. Charmer. Seduce scheme power. Courtiers more vulnerable to seduce scheme. No, maybe not. Maybe that's not great. There's also Skirmisher. Max size of Skirmisher units. I guess I could put that on the second one. There you go. And then... But this is creating an accolade. No, I don't want to create it. I want to reinstate one that's already there. Inactive accolades. Okay, there you go. Appoint you. There you go. Inactive accolade. Reactivated with a really high level knight. So that's a really good gain for me, if you ask me. Oh no, the hunt failed. Super sad face. Failure of a hunt. Lost stress because I'm gregarious and a hunter. I gain prestige and hunter and experience. Okay, even if it failed, it seems to have been a positive experience for me. So hunter progresses in falconeer a little bit more. A little bit more. And now I'm back home. That was nice. Now I just need a little bit of money built up. And then I could quite easily go for a Roman location. And you know what's so funny? I could use some of this piety I have to ask the head of faith for a bunch of money. I think I'll do it. Yeah, let's ask him for the money it will take to fight him. Alright, so I just spent some piety to ask the Pope for a bunch of money so that I would have the money required to declare war on him and take Rome from him. Okay. Yeah, so he's gonna regret he's agreeing to that. What happened? He'll be paying for his own debt. Yes, yes he is. And it's it's about to become 
mine. Yep, 600 prestige, 125, or no, 600 piety, 125 prestige. I have declared war. Hope, you are, shall meet your maker. Me. <laughs> and I'll call an ally in. I don't have Bavaria anymore. I guess that guy died or something. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Um, well, I wasn't going to call him in anyway because he's at war, but I will call in Frankia. Spend the prestige just to ensure that I have some help. We have a very good commander. It's my bodyguard. We're going to head right in there and kick some ass. Hope's popping out with some units all ready to fight me. And apparently there was a faction targeting me, but it's gone now. So let's go after Rome. I need a successor to this accolade so it doesn't go inactive again. So I'm going to spend some prestige to seek a worthy accolade successor and see how that goes. I do have new lifestyle perks. Accomplished forger. Fabricate claim on county speed. Buy artifact claim. Bloody grand wedding. Oh god. Hey, I can make a bloody grand wedding. I can make a wedding for the purpose of killing people. Isn't that great? I love that. Hell yeah. The Pope is besieging my lands. I wonder what he'll think when the West Franks show up. I could still create a new accolade as well, which I guess I would want to do. Huntsmaster life experience bonus disciplinarian can't really change it other than that knight of the orchard sure let's create another accolade then let's go ahead set that up there can we have a successor no not at the moment we cannot but we have it set up i don't know also i'm not sure if i can change those once they are set up um looks like it yeah i can i just don't know what to name them at the moment so i'm not bothering this is need a guardian for my daughter. Emeritrude, the one that's named after her mother. Let's say my wet nurse. She's already taken care of one of the kids. She could take care of another one. There you go. I have so many kids right now. The succession is going to be disgusting, and I'm not going to be happy with it. I already know that, more than likely. I could already disinherit one of them, that's for sure. That could cause some internal fucking strife, though. <laughs> But with the way we're starting to get more and more renown, I mean, who knows? Maybe we'll want to. I'm not sure if we're done having kids. We're in our 30s. There's only three. It wouldn't be too bad to just disinherit. I can already disinherit one of them. Well, the West Franks showed up, but they showed up to start their own siege because of course they did. <laughs> well, we can appoint a worthy successor to the death of the Muslims. What? He does not serve as a knight. Well, he has to be a knight first, apparently. So I guess we'll revisit this later. Well, I think the Franks, while I wasn't looking, they went ahead and fought some of the Pope's men and won. So that's nice. Thank you, West Franks. You're helping me rise to power. Apparently having four grandeur is like a requirement now. I've just achieved five due to like random events, but I might want to get to five anyway, just to get a little bit ahead. And I feel like I would take that from Prestige. So I might... I don't know if that's enough. It's hard to tell. This certainly would be enough. Going any higher would be silly. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to raise it up this much, let's say. That will guarantee five all the time. And that should be good. That's more amenities I have to spend on but that one's gonna give me some more prestige at least which is good and i'm starting to take over things that would give me a decent bit of money which is good england has uh very english borders i must say very english yes you're expanding very quickly yeah. making the most of that life there mr 34 year old notable guest has arrived claims yeah. on the county of malta good. okay that's siege is one i guess i'll go help pull this off because this is almost done, and I don't want them leaving because I leave all of a sudden. You might have Britannia made real early. It's not even 900 AD, and you're almost at your empire. I'm starting to stabilize things. At least you have your kingdom, so that's really good. How's Flanders doing, then? Are you progressing? What's what's your goals, and what have you accomplished? We're gonna go get uh, and fight. I was trying to build up some money, and now I'm fabricating claims on Brabant, which is right next to me. What about your long-term thing to, like either take over Frankia or collapse it. How's that going? Oh, I got you. Okay, fair enough. This is such a weird game where you can't, you don't even need to be in charge of a nation to technically interact with us, ally with us, and fight wars with us. It's very strange. 
All right, let's 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 go besiege something else, I guess. We have the capacity. We're at 91%. I need, to, I need to find this guy again. If I fight him one more time, I think we'll have the war score we need. Yeah. Oh, but he's running away. Um, well, we might be able to catch him if I just chase after him for long enough. Oh, wet nurse position vacated. Why? Why do I no longer have a wet nurse? Is it because we don't need a wet nurse? This is a chance for children to contract illnesses. Well, I could search for a wet nurse. I think that's a decision. Search for wet nurse. Yeah, start the search. I don't know why she's no longer my wet nurse, but... She's not, and she can't be anymore. It might be her age, I guess. I'm not sure. Shrug, regardless. There's a fuck ton of money to get a really good one, but yeah, I have a bunch of children, so I'll pay to get the really good one. Hello. The Franks caught him. They caught him on Rome. They were going back to Rome. Our truth with Venice will only last another 17 months. So after this war, we'd be able to go to war again shortly after. Although I'm sure we're starting to get some like offensive war debuffs. Yeah, it wouldn't last very long though. So it wouldn't be too bad. And we won. There you go. Enforce demands. Gain fame. Get all that stuff in the county. Tiny amount of prestige. Glory Hound vassals will be happy. Pope will not be happy. But I got Rome. Rome is mine. It has no control. Nice. It's also a mess because it has like no control. It's all kinds of fucked up. Let's disband all for right now. There you go. Get our money a bit more under control. Don't think we'll need... What's the fortification level here? Six. So it's still kind of meh. Raising money in that time would be kind of difficult. Control here will go up over time. It's going to be slow. And I do want to thematically base myself out of Rome, since I am a Roman. Ooh. Oh shit. The Knights Templar established. God damn. I do not have the ability to do that. I need way more piety. I've spent most of my piety. I, I lost like 600 piety at some point. I have no idea when. And I don't have the money for that either. But good job. First holy order. That's good for us Catholics. I'll look at getting mine when I'm done fighting Catholics. <laughs> it is the de jure capital of Italia, making this move allowed even if the capital has been previously moved. Well, what happens if I look somewhere else? So right, you've already moved it once. Oh, oh, okay, so that shit's limited. Well, okay, it's de jure capital, so yeah, let's go ahead and move that over there. It's the de jure capital of our realm. Control should go up, hopefully pretty quickly. This place is already rather built up. Good to know about how that works, though. There you go. I have changed the Empire title to New Rome. We are now New Rome, and we are referred to as Romans. You want to give uh, Scotland the old beaten? Yeah, they have a nice, uh, nice country, so... Just thought nice I'd take it. It's nice. I like it, so I wanted it for me. Nerds. Yeah, a gift to me from me. I was just sitting there sieging down Antwerp, and all of a sudden I see like 4,000 troops go sailing by from England. <laughs> Rome starts out with six out of five traditions. It starts out with more traditions than are even allowed. That's hilarious. And you can just reform it and replace the ones that are already there if you want. You know what's funny? If I, uh, if I got, if I got my help, I'm... My wife is done Roman. I can become Roman. Is that something we want? Hey, what, for you to become Roman? Yeah. Uh, do you want to be Roman? Do the traits look good to you? I don't know. You, nice. you can be Roman. You could just have your own culture, too. We're only really teaming up on the religions. <laughs> new Rome. <laughs> yes, I named... I, I became New Rome. We are, we are New Rome. And we are referred to as Romans. Mm, I like the men at arms one. But you'll have to have, uh, uh, do the formation fighting like skirmishers and light cavalry. You won't be able to use those as well. But the men at arms bonus is pretty good. Yeah. Ooh, I just got myself a nice truck. Oh, nice. I just became a diplomat. This makes people like me more. That's great. At this rate, I'm going to have the renown to actually just disinherit two of my sons and keep every single kingdom and everything else together, regardless. Even though I invested into a renowned purchase already. Because I only ended up with three sons. It's 150 per disinheritance, and I have 248 renown right now. Ooh. Oh, my first daughter's an adult. I just hope I can 
Or you want to create the empire this first life? I hope I can. Yeah. Well, good luck. I just got 50 more renown because a vassal visited me. So now I can definitely do the disinheritance. So yeah, I'm going to disinherit the first one. Although courtly vassals, of which I only actually have one, will not be happy. Um, regardless, yeah, I could disinherit both of them. So I will. Because why not? So now everything will go to my first child. There you go. I just, my legacy just has to be a little peeved off by that because I won't be able to upgrade it as quickly. But I think that's pretty good. My one first son is going to just inherit literally everything, which right now is two kingdoms, an empire, and then a bunch of random ass counties spread all over the place. I don't have any duchies. I had one, but I gave it away. Yeah, my first daughter's an adult, so you still want her? Because you're good to have her whenever um, your son there becomes 16. Four more years? Okay. Yeah. I need to figure out who to marry my son to, like my heir. He's 12. You could marry the Princess of Bavaria. Ooh, she's good. She's healthy. She has decent stats. Bavaria's right next to me. That's a pretty good alliance to have, yeah. Um, that seems good to me. Could set up potentially some inheritance. Could also get in the way with certain things like Unify Italy. Because I'm pretty sure... Oh, god damn it. Unify Italy... Because yeah, I'm pretty, pretty sure, see, Bavaria owns a lot of that. Without inheritance, wouldn't be a whole lot I could get there. Well, these two are related. I guess because I married a Carling, so that makes sense. So maybe we don't want that after all. And yeah, maybe that's not the greatest. We might just wait until he's older to find someone for him. I forgot. I was going to look at marrying him off to the... Eh, the princess of Bavaria, but I realized he's technically the son of a Carling because my wife is a Carling. So that would be inbreeding. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure I want to just start inbreeding. Well, you can because you have the pure blood of the trait. I, only me. Only me. Nobody else actually got it. I just gave myself that in the character creator because I thought it was funny. But not one of my kids actually got that, sadly. Because both parents need to have it. Looks like we're good to go to war again. Probably have been good for a little bit. So, claims on Venezia. Yep, declare war. Okay. Especially now that I can inherit everything, I can get direct income from Rome and this. So, let's raise all here. And... What is my power now? 3,616. Not sure that I need any help with this, quite frankly. Uh, no one else is at war, so if I do need help, I can get it, but I'm not sure I need help. And this will get my money up, like, ridiculously so, man. I give myself the duchy, the kingdom, all of it. For Venice. Keep it under my control. Alright, dude, we got- I think we're getting past that initial, like, really hard stage. I mean, most of the country still isn't Roman, unfortunately. But that aside, it's set to do pretty well, at, at least. Uh, join a duke's hunt. Hmm. I mean, I could go. A duke's hunt? Where is it? It's up there. Eight. If I customize the route, go here as a little visit. I can get some diplomacy lifestyle while I'm up there. That seems good to me. But that puts us in some danger. What if I go here first and then follow up by going there? There you go. No danger. Make it the whole way. Yeah, I'll join the hunt, even though I'm at war. I'm not a war kind of king. Alright, cool. So, that's fun. Yay!